Welcome back to the broadcast. You know, before we break, we introduced you to Michael and Bernadette Coleman, who are on a crusade to raise awareness of traumatic brain injuries. Welcome to the show, both of you. And also, you. I want to introduce you to Dr. Bison, who has been actively involved with Michael and Bernadette. Yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. How did you all begin your journey together? Well, um, part of Mike's recovery was done at Pate Rehab up in Anna, Texas, and um, Dr. Bison is the program director there, so she's been involved in his um, recovery from early on. Now that's interesting that you were in Anna, Texas. Mm -hmm. What's the population of Anna? Not many. Cause I, know, <laughs> cause my, uh, I, know, I thought, what? There's a there's a center up there that specializes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful You're center. Kidding. It's a big ranch. It's a ranch environment. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, they have horses, yeah, horses. So they have therapy. Um, you know, with the horses, and they have people living with traumatic brain injury there. It's a live-in center, and it's a it's a beautiful piece of property. It's like you're just driving down the dirt road, and all of a sudden it's like, what? I can't this. believe that. <laughs> I, I want to ask this because in the film that, uh, well, can, uh, my uh, what's his name, Mike? <laughs> Don, Don Wall. When Don Wall did this film, he talked about how you just wouldn't give up, Michael. You just decided mm -hmm. that you were going to make something of this, yeah. and why? What was the driving force that made you not give up? Uh, just wanting to get back to my family and friends, normal. <laughs> Your speech was not in. It, it wasn't harmed at all, was it? Well, he did have to learn to speak again. You in, did. in the very beginning, in the very beginning when he started to talk, his mouth would move, but nothing would come out. Mm -hmm. So it was very quiet. So he was talking, he thought he was talking, but he wasn't talking. His did the oxygen therapy help your voice? Uh, no, his, not really. Yeah, it was, he, he had his full voice back before he started the oxygen. Yeah. Therapy, but it did help with his muscular and his sleep. He had a lot yeah. of sleep deprivation, so that kind of helped with it. And um, just the healing, just the overall, um, I, I believe the oxygen being that much oxygen <coughs> being forced into your body, just, I mean, you can't help but yes. heal. Yes. Yeah. I'm curious, how many mm -hmm. patients are you seeing now, Dr. Bison? In our program, we have, uh, our census varies, but generally up to about 140, 150 patients. Wow. Now, would you say Michael is a medical miracle? Because looking at him now after mm -hmm. hearing his story, I think probably not only us but viewers are going, oh my goodness, like you, you are so blessed to be alive and you are so blessed to, with the progress that you've made. Mm -hmm. Yes, most definitely. And we see miracles all the time. And the, the most fascinating thing about the brain is that, you know, it controls everything that you do. And so, I mean, the, the thing, we can't predict a lot of times exactly how a person is going to pro progress. Um, and so sometimes we think, oh, you know, I mean, he had a very severe brain injury. And look at him now. I mean, he can. I was in a wheelchair. Mm hmm. Then I dropped the wheelchair and I used a walker. Now I'm using this cane. It's amazing. And, and, and medically, everybody said, I'm sorry, but there's probably no hope. Oh, at the very yeah. beginning, oh my that's all gosh. we heard. And when we were looking for hope, because you know, you see your son laying in a hospital bed with covered in, in tubes and a cooling blanket, and they hadn't even wiped the blood off you know, of his face. And, mm -hmm. and I walked in, and the first thing I said to the doctors, well, you know, what, what? Well, where are we going from here? And it's, I don't know, time will tell. You know, we have to wait and see. N no good news at all. At the third day, they pulled us aside and told us we should just consider letting I him go. I can't yeah. believe that, and you didn't. Oh, no. Didn't. Well, we started talking to other people who were going through what we were going through. And that's kind of what Trimunity yeah. does. Yeah. So when we heard, so we started hearing those stories almost immediately. People would come mm -hmm. up and say, don't worry. You know, um, my son was in a car accident, and, you know, five years ago, and he's getting married next month. Or, or my daughter is back in school after her traumatic brain injury. And these little stories, I hope, kind of kept us going. And so you know? now you have, you've developed, you started a website called yeah. Trimunity where everyone can kind of come together and yeah. share their stories and have a support group. So tell mm -hmm. us how that's it's changed like, you and how you feel like it's yeah. changed others. It's really good for people because it's like a Facebook, but it's for people with injuries. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Basically, what Trimunity is, it's a place to go to share your stories of hope and encouragement with other people who need hope and encouragement, who are going through the same things that you're going through. And there's people on there that are at different stages of their recovery. So um, we have quite a few people with traumatic brain injury, and 
fairly common we hear, thank God I found this site, because no one else understands what I'm going through. I think it's wonderful. It's amazing. Yeah. Where is most of your inspiration coming from now, Bernadette? Where is it coming from for you? Well, I think a lot of it comes from old Mike, first of all, just seeing how he's recovered. It's, it's been a long road. It's been almost two years. Um, there were some very, very dark times. But, you know, he has such a great attitude about his recovery. He makes us laugh all the time, every day. And I said, uh, and I always say this, that I think that the fall on his head kind of knocked some fun into him. <laughs> <laughs> we, we like him better now. I think he's even Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> but, I hate that I'm laughing at that. But, um, it, yeah, he's a big inspiration. The, the, the miracle people along the way. Mm -hmm. um, there's, I mean, just from day one when we were trying to get down to um, Orlando, this accident happened in Orlando, and we had to fly down there. There was no flights out, but we went to the hospital um, first thing in the morning after we got the call at 6:30. And uh, Spirit Airlines heard about and they why heard we're there, and, helped. and they See, offered two people, people to get off the flight, on. and we got on. And we were there first thing in the morning. And that was we just wanna, the beginning of yeah. many miracles we along can, the way. We want to thank you for coming in and showing yeah. others. And I've got to tell you something that makes me think. I know that many times in our lives and our loved ones we are called when a brain mm -hmm. injury happens and somebody says you need to let them go. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You have to think about think that hard now about it. that I've met you and, yeah. uh, and Michael. You yeah. can learn more about all of this by visiting tryimmunity.com.